Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Yesterday, I had to delete a scene from my life because there was something that was so shocking, I couldn't even stand to see it, or even remember what it was. I also had to delete it for stupid reasons that your average human being wouldn't be able to understand, including myself. Remember this scene from this show? Yes? Well, it's not in the episode anymore. It's been deleted. Deal with it. Deleted scenes are very interesting within TV shows or movies. When you watch an episode from a TV series and are a fan of it, and then you find out there was one or more deleted scene from that episode, it's cool to find out because it's a new little tidbit about that episode you love that you didn't know about before. Every TV show, movie, video game, etc. has some kind of scene or line of dialogue that has to be removed for one reason or another. Whether it's because of time constraints, being a little too scary or inappropriate for kids, or for no f***ing reason at all, every scene that ends up being deleted gets deleted for a reason. And Spongebob is no exception. With a show that's been around as long as Spongebob, so many scenes have been removed from episodes. So today, I wanted to take a look at all the scenes from season 1 episodes that have been removed from the final versions of those episodes. Now before we start, let's go over a few things. 1. I'm only doing season 1 right now because the show currently has 13 seasons of episodes and I can't cover all deleted scenes from every season in one go, so I'm just going to cover season 1 today, and cover deleted scenes from the other seasons in the future. Second, I do have a few rules for what counts as a deleted scene. For these discussions, here's how I will classify a deleted scene. 1. A scene or a line that was written and or storyboarded but was ultimately cut from the final release. 2. If an episode originally had a different plot or title during the production phase and was changed over time. 3. A shot that wasn't used in the final cut. And 4. A scene that was there in the original TV airing but removed in reruns. Next, here's what I'm not going to classify as a deleted scene. 1. The list of deleted scenes on the wiki shows minor errors in the end credits or opening credits as deleted scenes, so I'm not counting those. 2. If there's a super minor difference in the storyboard compared to the final cut, because those are so minor that they're not necessarily worth mentioning. Also, when I talk about the deleted scenes, I'm going to speculate where I personally think these scenes would have been in the episode if they weren't cut, and this will mostly be for scenes removed from the United States versions, not international dubs. And lastly, these deleted scenes are what we currently know about. More and more info is being discovered every day, so it's likely that something will be uncovered in the future, so this is mostly what we know about at this moment. And without further ado, let's get started. Kicking it off with the series premiere, Episode 1, Help Wanted. This episode was produced in 1997, so there are two different versions. The very first version, which was produced in 1997, and a different version for 1999, according to the list of deleted scenes. As a result, there are a few differences. In the 1997 version, there was a black screen with waves crashing and seagull sounds, which would fade into the opening shot of Bikini Bottom, whereas the 1999 version has the regular opening sequence. There's also this unused sequence with colorful images that credits the writers and directors. This was replaced with the regular theme song when it aired on TV right after the 1999 Kids' Choice Awards. In the 1997 version, when Living in the Sunlight plays at the end for the second time, the screen goes black and we just hear the audio, while the Krusty Krab is always shown on screen until the very end in the 1999 version. Also, in the end credits of the 1997 version, there's this image that shows a drawing of Spongebob and it says, created by Steven Hillenburg. In the 1999 version, it's replaced by the regular United Plankton Pictures logo. As we all know, Episode 2 Reef Blower was supposed to have dialogue, but there was a rumor that the sound equipment failed and the episode had to be rewritten to be silent. However, there's more to it than that. This episode was just referred to as Pilot Extension. What? Why? Additionally, there was a different story according to the original Pitch Bible. The original plot was about Spongebob using a reef blower to clean his yard, but it goes out of control and Spongebob flies everywhere. Patrick comes out with his own reef blower and imitates Spongebob, causing the foundation of Squidward's house to erode and the house falls over with Squidward in it. While I like how the actual episode plays out with the final storyline, I definitely would have been interested to see this original storyline. I also don't really like how it was just called Pilot Extension. 
You see, all this is cool except for the pilot extension, but now I want to talk about an episode with Sandy in it. Well, let's move on to episode 3, Tea at the Tree Dome. This episode has an unused title card compared to the final version. It's seen on the asset discs for the PlayStation 1 game, Super Sponge. That's it? Well, don't worry. Episode 5, Ripped Pants, has a deleted scene. According to the Pitch Bible from 1996, there was a different storyline. The original plot involves Spongebob going to Muscle Beach by himself doing various beach activities until he finds a treasure chest with gold doubloons inside. Spongebob would then use the gold to order milkshakes at the Krusty Krab for everybody. Okay, so this plot is quite interesting. Considering how this storyline doesn't even mention Spongebob ripping his pants, it makes me wonder if the title itself was different too. The wiki doesn't say anything about an alternate title, so I'm just left wondering how this would have played out. Maybe Spongebob ripped his pants at some point on the beach and becomes embarrassed, and then when he finds the treasure, he would use it to buy milkshakes for everybody to make them forget about what happened and stop laughing at him? That could have been the case, but I don't know. In episode 6, Jellyfishing, there's this shot right here of Squidward's house that was never used. Maybe this shot was used right before Squidward comes home after the first accident? It could have been right before Squidward comes into his house and sees Spongebob and Patrick. Or maybe when Spongebob was waiting for Squidward? Or maybe it was just an alternate angle of an opening scene that was never used? Who knows. Speaking of Squidward, episode 7, Plankton, has a deleted scene of Squidward being naked. This is revealed on the audio commentary from the Season 1 DVD. This most likely would have been in Squidward's bedroom when Spongebob burst through the walls. It was cut due to nudity. Moving on, Episode 10, Pizza Delivery, has some unused shots of a Krusty Krab clock and some neon open and close signs. These shots probably would have been seen at the beginning of the episode when Squidward is telling Spongebob to finish cleaning right before the phone rings. Episode 12, Merry Man and Barnacle Boy, has an unused shot of a piece of cherry pie, which most likely would have been in the cafeteria. It's also interesting because Murray Man and Barnacle Boy did not order pie in the cafeteria and there is no pie shown in the scene, or if there is, I can't notice it. There's also a third scene of Spongebob with a donut on his hand that wasn't used. I think this could have been during the fireworks scene when Spongebob wants to get Murray Man and Barnacle Boy out of retirement, or maybe at the very end after they accomplish their mission. Now for something that's a little bizarre. Episode 15, Jellyfish Jam, was shown on Nick at Night, and the title card was removed for some reason. And this happened in a few Nickelodeon reruns too. For the Nick at Night airing, the wiki says the reason the title card was cut was because Nick at Night used a non-remastered version from 1999. I'm not sure why this episode has the title card cut out for some Nickelodeon airings. Maybe it's been fixed at this point? I'm not 100% sure. It's always been intact for the Nicktoons airing, so it's just really weird. Going back to the Pitch Bible, episode 17, Squeaky Boots has a few deleted scenes. There was a scene where Spongebob plays the boots like a musical instrument, impressing the customers, and another scene at the end where Mr. Krauts buys the boots back from Spongebob for a very expensive price. For the former, my guess is that would have been at the Krusty Krab when Spongebob is showing off to Mr. Krabs, playing them like an instrument and impressing the customers before Mr. Krabs freaks out. For the latter, I wonder if Mr. Krabs would have bought the boots back from Spongebob after he got them out from under the Krusty Krab, and if it still would have led to Mr. Krabs eating them. Probably. Episode 21, F.U.N., had a slightly different line in Jellyfish Fields. The storyboard shows Plankton cocking the net like a gun and talking about shooting the jellyfish. The final cut had Plankton ask, What happens after we eat them? You don't eat them? And he doesn't proceed to fire the net. This was most likely cut because of gun references. And that would never fly if this episode came out in 2022. And speaking of scary stuff, it's not Halloween yet, but it's the next topic. Episode 26, Scaredy Pants, features this unused shot of Spongebob shaved down, revealing his brain. This shot was going to be used after the Flying Dutchman takes off Spongebob's costume and before the Dutchman runs away in fear. This was cut for comedic timing, which was a good decision because it's much more impactful showing Spongebob shaved down after the Dutchman runs away in my opinion. Also, as of October 2020, the part where Spongebob says, Don't worry, it grows back, is cut. This was most likely because the screen turns black when he says it. With no context, what grows back? Either way, it kind of goes to show TV these days is too soft and not enjoyable anymore. It's still intact on the Season 1 DVD, on Paramount Plus, and in international airings. 
As we all know, episode 27, I Was a Teenage Gary, was notorious for the rumor of having a deleted scene of Squidward turning into a snail. This of course is not true, as showrunner Vincent Waller revealed a long time ago that the scene never existed. However, there is another deleted line. As of October 2020, the TV airing shortened Squidward's final line from 9 meows to 8. The very last meow was set as the screen fades to black, which could be seen as inappropriate timing. Meow, 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 meow. I'm sorry, what? I personally do not understand how saying that line when the screen fades to black is inappropriate timing. Squidward got his comeuppance for what he did in the episode. Of course it fades away right at the end. Thankfully, it's still intact on many other releases of this episode. Is anybody else tired yet? Well, moving on to episode 30, Sleepy Time, an early production image found on eBay shows Pearl's bedroom, meaning there was to be a scene in her room. This was most likely cut for time. I think it would have been briefly seen after Spongebob leaves Pearl's dream and right before he enters Mr. Krabs' dream. Episode 31, Suds, shows an unused cell of Patrick with a briefcase. This probably would have been right at the beginning of the first scene of Patrick trying to take care of Spongebob. Additionally, there's an unused close-up of one of Spongebob's plugged holes used on the Spongebob trading card game from 2003. Moving on, episode 33, The Paper, had a deleted climax where all of Squidward's stuff comes to life and attacks Squidward, and Spongebob fends him off with the paper. This probably would have occurred after Squidward realizes why the paper didn't work for him like it did with Spongebob. I'm not sure why it was cut. The storyboard for episode 34, Arg, reveals a deleted scene of Mr. Krabs having a fantasy where he sniffs a pile of treasure after Spongebob says Mr. Krabs is getting all sweaty again. Episode 36, Texas, has more production cells that appeared on eBay. During the scene where Spongebob tries to stop Sandy from leaving Bikini Bottom, Spongebob starts turning red and swelling up. This probably would have occurred specifically around this shot right here with Spongebob stuttering. Now you might be saying, this is cool Mikey, but talk about Plankton again. Well, don't you worry. Next up is episode 37, Walking Small. There was a deleted shot which revealed what the Chum Bucket Mega Bucket would have looked like if it was built. Judging by the picture shown here, this might have been shown at the beginning of the episode when Plankton arrives at Goo Lagoon and starts to prepare for his plan. Next up is episode 39, Neptune Spatula. This image right here shows what is likely the beta version for the background of the shot where Spongebob reads the Krabby Patty a bedtime story. Putting the final version right up next to the beta version, I'm glad we have the final version. The early version of this shot looks like there's no crowd at all. Last but not least, the season finale. Episode 41, Murray Man and Barnacle Boy 2. Another early cell reveals that the life-size Krabby Patty mannequins of Murray Man and Barnacle Boy were actually made out of raw Krabby Patty meat instead of whole ass Krabby Patty sandwiches as in the final version. But in a way, the raw Krabby Patty meat statues do show Murray Man's bra, so maybe that's why it was changed. There's also an early storyboard that features a scene where the judges of the contest started eating the mannequins, which never made it into the final cut. This probably would have been during the scene right here that shows the mannequins. There's another unused shot of the building Murray Man and Barnacle Boy were patrolling. If I had to guess, this was probably an alternate angle of that building which was dropped in favor of the final version. There was also a shot of the first nautical bank. Maybe this would have been shown when Spongebob, Murray Man, and Barnacle Boy are driving at some point while they're on patrol in the middle of the episode. Finally, there are three shots that show a jewelry store and the window would have been accidentally broken. This was likely cut due to time constraints. Me personally, I have absolutely no idea where this would have been in the episode. If I had to guess, maybe this was during another scene when Spongebob was in the invisible boatmobile with Murray Man and Barnacle Boy, and there was some kind of accident caused by Spongebob which resulted in the window getting broken. But who knows. And that is every deleted scene from season 1 of the series, or at least the important ones. We'll definitely be returning to this topic in the future, but for now, I covered everything that I wanted to do today. And I still can't get over what I did yesterday, so I might as well tell you what I did, which is... I found these books in the attic and I don't have any space for them. Wait, I wasn't supposed to show you that. Please forget you saw that. Delete that, delete that, delete that.